The exhibition is called A Wall is Just a Wall. It references a line from a poem from Ashata Shakur, uh, who's writing about um, different things, but also about prisons and saying a wall is just a wall, it can be broken down. And this idea that you know, no matter what is constructed or, or how we are manipulated in society, we still have agency to react. The first room or a corridor you enter into is an installation called Pink Blue. And that describes very much what the installation is. It's um, an installation which uses color and light to create two distinct spaces, one which is using a particular pink called Baker Miller pink. Uh, So the ceilings, walls, floors are all painted in this pink, which is meant to have a calming or tranquilizing effect on the body. The second space, which is really, I see as one complete space, but the second, I guess, chapter of that space uh, is immersed in blue uh, neon lights. And the blue neon lights are used often in public spaces to discourage intravenous uh, drug users from using those spaces. So what one first sees as just an aesthetic experience from this very intense pink to very intense blue also refers to the usage in contemporary and also historical use of disciplinary or disciplinary architectures and interiors. After deambulating through the pink blue space, one enters into the projection room in which a film called The Primer uh, is projected. And that is a co-production between the power plant here and the Logan Art Center in Chicago. And it's a non-narrative silent uh, video in which that pink color that you'd first experienced when you walked into the space comes back again. Uh, It's joined by other colors. There's a a kind of an olive green and a a beige and also a white. And all of those uh, colors refer to different moments in architectural history and refers to this idea of disciplinary architecture. And there's also different objects that are animated in the space glass, a blind, which we call jalousies, a plant, all of these things refer to some research I had done around the use of space and how it is augmented or changed to control bodies or affect behavior. So I was first interested in the idea of disciplinary architecture, how we create spaces through built space, but also through color and light to affect behavior, but also to create inclusion or exclusion. But always my my intention was to note those, make those visible, but also with the intention to know that bodies are always resisting, although those constructed spaces are there maybe to have a desired effect, uh, we also have agency in those in those moments. So that's why the, um, the title is quite important, A Wall is Just a Wall. It's something that can also be deconstructed and, and circumnavigated.